Dancing has nothing on this. This will be the toughest competition of my life. I've rode in a couple of Olympic Games. I feel like it's all preparation for today, to be honest. This is a big one. I have rode on this stretch of water for 15 years. Last time I was here, I lost. There's no way I'm losing again. I just feel this immense sense of pressure. I don't want to let anyone down. I am feeling excited, but slightly terrified as well. It's physically demanding, it's mentally demanding. It's also rather painful in the backside area. I just know that I'm going to do a lot of whooping and hollering, and I've been told by our captain to give it 95% because apparently I go all in. When I started this process, I was a terrible rower, and now I've worked my way up to pretty bad. This experience has more or less broken me psychologically and physically, but now I'm going to give everything for Team Purple. Come race day, there is a significant blow for the purple team with Steve Redgrave unable to attend. No clashing yeah. at Stowe Park. And it gets worse. Team Crackle winning the toss and getting their choice of station for the better racing line. The middle section. Oh, well. yes. <laughs> well, plenty of changes in seating positions for both teams, a couple of changes in personnel. Harry Judd has been ruled out with a back injury for the Purples. Cambridge Blue Fiona Macklin comes in, and the pink team will be coxed by another former light blue, Henry Fieldman. Tense final moments on the start. Terrified final moments. Let's go, Ken. Let's go, Harry. Oh, well, they've gone early, the pinks. They went on attention before go, but the starter says that's fine. A flyer, cheating, some might call it. But the pinks out to a lead of almost a length. A study and concentration, Mark Watson. The Purples have fought their way back into this. Good rhythm from the boat. Nothing between these two crews and coming close together as well. Blades in danger of clashing. Choppy waters of the Thames today. Adlington now in trouble. That's given the Purples an opportunity to move out to more than a length clear. Michelle Ackerley, the latest to catch a crab, and the Pinks take their chance to come back. Almost side by side again, the two crews. Oh, and Mark Watson thumped in the chest by his oar, and the Pinks taking advantage. And closing in on the finish. The final few strokes. So little between these two crews. Rayworth has hit. Has the chance gone for the Pinks? Watson in trouble. Pinks coming back. The Purples trying to hold on. So, so close to the finish line. And it's victory for the Purple crew for Steve Redgrave's boat. And the Purples smile and they celebrate Mark Watson in a world of pain. But he played his part. And the Purple crew by not very much is the official margin of victory in the 2017 Celebrity Boat Race. What a race. We couldn't have written that. Yeah, I was going to fall out of the boat at one point. The winner of the inaugural Celebrity Boat Race is Team Redgrave. Applause for Redgrave. Whatever you were right. doing, Mark Watson, you did it right. Well, one thing I did was to slide off my seat at the end and just be trapped <laughs> under the oar while Dan Snow saved my life. But that was tactics. That was all tactics, you I see, may, right? I may have seen that bit. One, two, three.